Hey there, Sam. There are a lot of websites that has this click to copy button to help us easily copy content to our clipboard. Let's learn how to do that in JavaScript. We'll start from scratch. I'll create an article element where I'll put in some crap for JavaScript to copy later. I'll also create a button so when we click on it, we'll copy the content in the article. Next, we'll attach a click event listener to our button. Let's store our button as a variable and we'll call the add event listener function with the click event. And here, when we click on the button, we want to get the text content of our article. So we'll target our article ID, content copy, and grab the text content property. Once we get the content, we'll need to find a way to write the content to our clipboard. The browser does offer us a very simple way to work with clipboard content by using the built-in clipboard object. And similar to the console object, the clipboard object is also one of the available tools in the browser. The documentation link is provided in the description below. So feel free to check it out after watching this video. The clipboard object is a sub-object of the navigator object. So to use it, we need to call navigator.clipboard. And to write content to our clipboard, we will call the write text function. And the write text function accepts one argument, which is the content to be put into the clipboard. And now if I click on the button, I will expect the content in the article to be copied to my clipboard. And I'll paste it in, in my VS code. And we see the crap. So far, so good. Now let's learn how to read content from the clipboard. To read the text content, we simply call the read text function. And we'll console out the copied content and click on the button. Oh no, there's something going on here. So there are two things I need you to be aware of. One, for security reason, access to the clipboard is blocked by the browser by default. So the user need to explicitly allow the website to access the clipboard by clicking on this button. Why do we need this? Because we copy sensitive data like our password or credit card number all the time. If we happen to visit a malicious website while having our credentials stored in our clipboard at the same time, that would be a massive disaster. Now the second thing is the read text and the write text functions are promises. So that means they are asynchronous. So to read the text content in our clipboard right after we copy it, we either need to use the then function or use the await keyword. I like the await keyword better, so let's use that. To use the await keyword, we first need to turn our function into an asynchronous function by adding the async keyword before our function definition and await the write text function and also the read text function. And now we're seeing our copy content is printed out in a console, which is great. We can also paste images from our clipboard. Let's create a new article element for us to paste in an image and also a paste button. And similar to the copy button, we'll also store the paste button as a variable and add an event listener to it. When we click on the paste button, the idea is we'll read the content from the clipboard and paste them into the article. So first, we need to store our article as a variable. And we should clear the content of it when the paste button is clicked. Now to get non-text content from the clipboard, we need to call the read function on the clipboard object. Again, the read function is a promise, so we should use the async and await keywords again. Now the data returned by the read function is an array of clipboard items. To get a clipboard content, we need to retrieve the first element of this array. Now the clipboard content belongs to the clipboard item data type. It has a few helper functions that allow us to grab data from the clipboard. To get image data, we can call the getType function from it. The getType function accepts one argument, which is a string that represents the file type. This type of string is also known as the mime type. It's using a convention of file type slash extension type. If you want to take a look at the other mime type, I have attached a link in the description below. So the getType function is also a promise, so we should put an await before it. And it will return us something called the blob. Blob stands for binary large object. To put it simply, it is just a giant string that represents a file. Our goal here is to put this blob inside an image tag so we can show it in the browser DOM. The blob is stored inside a temporary location in the browser. So first of all, we need to grab the URL that points to the blob. To do that, we can call the windows.url.createObjectURL function and pass in the blob object. Then we'll create an image element and set the source attribute to the blob URL. And finally, append our image element to the article. Let's test our code. I'll go to unsplash.com and randomly copy an image and click on the paste button and it works. However, at the moment, our code could fail. Why? Because if the content in our clipboard is not an image, JavaScript will explode. I'll show you what I mean. 
So if I click on our copy button, which will copy the text into our clipboard, and I click on the paste button, and see that? That's an error. We can easily fix this by using a try and catch block. So I'm going to try to capture any errors that was thrown inside our image handling logic. If that's an error, that means we cannot copy the image. So we're going to call the read text function instead and set the text content of paste article to the text. Let's try our code again. We paste the text in and we see the crap. And if we copy the image from Unsplash, paste it in and the image is showing. And that's it. Key takeaway for this lesson. The built-in clipboard object allows us to manipulate the clipboard with JavaScript. Blobs or binary large object represent file as an object, so we can work on them using JavaScript. You can convert pretty much anything into blobs, including images, PDFs, or even videos. MIME type is a string convention to describe a particular data type. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.